All right, YouTube, what's happening? i um, got a video today on the Mossberg MC1SC. Just got back from my first range trip with this today. And man, I was pretty dang impressed. I just wanted to show you that the knife was the knife. You can tell I reviewed a lot of knives on this channel. The gun is clear. And yeah, shot awesome. Um, put a bunch of different ammo through it. The Remington UMC did no malfunctions, the Blazer no malfunctions, the Magtech no malfunctions, Federal HSTs fed perfectly, which is my preferred carry load. I also tried these new Federal um, Syntec Defense. These are synthetic, jacketed hollow points, 138 grain. I'll show you what one looks like. Pretty interesting. So there's a video on YouTube, maybe one or two actually, one by Federal and one by an independent tester. And they tested this bullet. And what it's supposed to do, it has this it's basically supposed to fragment into four different pieces. There's like three little petals, and then there's the core. And the core might penetrate like 18 inches, and then the little petals are supposed to fragment and um, create more wounds. And they did like six to nine inches of penetration. So it's a pretty nasty little round, and they're really inexpensive. You can buy a box of these at Walmart for like less than $12 for 20 which compared to HSTs is like half. I'm sure that's due to the, the synthetic... Um, bullet but either way these fed perfectly out of the Mossberg as well so and it's a pretty nasty little round I may start carrying it um, once I shoot a few more through the gun but that's what I shot um, the magazines I gotta load it up a little bit here so I won't put them in the gun but they function perfectly fine the gun store I was at I tried to see we tried a Terran tactical plus two base plate on these mags and it would fit but it was kind of Mar, it was he would, didn't want to put it all the way on because it was the plastic on these mags. It was kind of marred up a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go with the factory Glock mags with the Terran Tactical um, plus three extension actually for a backup mag. Um, but these mags function flawlessly too. No problems with these. Drop free perfectly. Uh, did some holster drills. Like I said, it does work with Glock 43 holsters. I was just using this one today. Um, just a cheap I got on Amazon actually, and it works perfectly fine. You can see, good retention, comes out easily. I did some holster drills and uh, everything malfunctioned perfectly. Malfunctioned. Everything functioned perfectly, no problems. I found the, the gun to be accurate. Um, I found it the trigger to be nice. It doesn't have a crazy short reset, but it's a very crisp. The, the one thing I don't like about the trigger is that, listen to this sound. See so yeah, how you can hear that kind of springiness? Um, I don't know why it does that. But I did enjoy the flat face trigger. I think that made for quick follow-up shots, quick. Um, I mean, you could really go through your magazine pretty quick with this thing and keep all your um, shots on target. This, the sights are nice. Nice typical three-dot, but they are, I believe they're metal sights. Yeah, they are metal sights compared to the Glock 43 plastic sights that everyone has to re re you know repair. Um, the texturing on the grip and everything is really nice under shooting. I mean, I never felt like the gun was going to slip. The mag release is really nicely textured and works really well. Um, yeah, first impressions are excellent. I mean, I shot 150 plus... Well, I didn't shoot the whole box of those. I probably shot 170 rounds today, 175. And zero malfunctions, no problems at all. Didn't have any problems with the slide locking back. Um... I think some people have had that issue, but they've been but they've been riding that slide release, which is weird because it's pretty well recessed in the gun, and it's kind of hard to ride it. I don't know how people are actually doing that because it's really kind of difficult to get your thumb over the top of that. So overall, I'm super impressed uh, so far with this little pistol, 350 bucks. I mean, it's essentially a Glock 43 with better sights, front serrations. Um, flat face trigger, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's definitely a competitor in this realm of single stack 9mm, um, with like the shield and the 43 and the PPS M2, you know, I'm not throwing the SIG 365 in there because the SIG 365 is, you know, a double, it's not a double stack, but it has a lot more capacity and... I think it compares more with like a Glock 43X, um, and I don't compare this to a Glock 43X because it's 
you know, once you get to that capacity with those extensions, you're going to have a, a 43X size on your hand. But um, I would say it compares more with those other pistols, the XDS, um, the 43 especially. And in that market, um, one of the best deals you can have is right here and then the Mossberg MC1 so far. I mean, granted, I want to put a lot more rounds through it and such, but so far, very impressed. All the, all the, most of the reviews I've read or watched on YouTube have been very positive on the gun. Um, one guy had some fail he's like i'll oh, fail with jacketed hollow points one and one type of jacket of hollow point failed and it was a v crown sig v crowns are not really good that's why they're pretty cheap um the federals which is you know that's usually what i carry the hsts and the syntax they fed flawlessly um and no issues at all were very accurate so i don't think it has any problems with jacket of hollow points i thought that was kind of a weird video just i mean the the federal hsts fed fine through the gun too that was the funny thing but um, I don't think I'll try any more different types of hollow points because it feeds the ones I want to carry, and that's what's most important to me. Um, and with all these other different types of, I mean, this is all pretty cheap ammo. This is like, this stuff you can get at Sportsman's Guide for about 16, 17 cents a round. This is the cheapest stuff you get at Walmart. It's like 8.50 a box. The Blazer, this is aluminum. I mean, it fed really cheap ammo. So it's, it's going to feed that. And, you know, premium hollow point ammo, it's going to feed whatever I think you throw at it. So... Um, yeah, no, first, again, first 175 rounds, no issues, fantastic gun. I'll do a, a more in-depth review of it, um, later once I get some more rounds through it, but it's definitely a good option in this really crowded concealed carry market. A lot of people thought Mossberg was silly for, uh, bringing this gun out because there's so much competition, but you know what? Like, they did a fantastic job. And for the price point, it's kind of hard to beat. I mean, you can get an old shield, like the first gen shields. I think sometimes they're as cheap as like 250 bucks. And the PPS M2, but I'll tell you, this has a better trigger. Um, it has the benefit of taking Glock magazines, which are way less expensive to buy. Lots of aftermarket support for the Glock magazines and the extensions and stuff. So really, you know, and that's that shield you're getting for that price is usually the one with a safety if you're getting a normal it's like 380 for i think a mp, MP or a shield 2.0 um the pps m2 is pretty cheap at a lot of places but the trigger is not anywhere near as good as this gun i mean definitely worth spending a little bit extra money on this guy um especially because the mags are gonna be cheaper to buy walther mags are pretty pricey believe me i know i have quite a few walthers so i yeah it's it's a pretty dang good contender so prop, props to Mossberg, first gun in a hundred years, handgun, sorry, and they did a really, really good job. They didn't rush it out, <clears throat> Sig, um, and you know I think it's going to be a contender, and I think it's definitely one that if you're in the market, you should look at it, especially for the cost. But I'll give you a, a more in thoughts, more in depth thoughts after I put some more rounds through it. But my first impressions are really, really good. Is, um, federal HST and Federal Syntec, if I 
months. Wings function at 100%. So about to hit that 250 um, mark with this gun. finish off one of the 51 boxes. I'm not quite sure how to pop that. Um, we'll call it there, but so far, very reliable. Really nice shooting gun. Even with the six round mag, I find the gun um, very easy to control. So, it's not as snappy as some other uh, uh, subcompact so single stack nines in my opinion. So, based on my experience with the Smith and Wesson Shield, Block 43, the SIG 365, the Supreme Court XDS, and the PF9. That's such a weird issue. That was a lot of fun. Just thinking of all the single stack nines I've owned over the years. Tell you, this Mossberg is freaking fantastic. It is really nice. That is one thing I'll talk about in a second. Ejection on this gun is really good. It has a really strong ejection, it's very consistent. Um, I can't find anything negative. The only thing I will say that's come up is sometimes you have to kind of really slam those mags home. Sometimes they don't always want to see properly. As long as you're giving it a good smack, you're fine. That's another 100 rounds, plus we're at 175. So we're up to 275 on this guy, and it's been 100% reliable all up the way with my four or five different types of ammo, cheap stuff. I haven't shot in steel, don't plan on it, don't love shooting steel, so definitely feels better in hand with the 7 round extension. I'll get a full grip. That 7 round extension, that slides hot. <laughs> but it's comfortable to shoot with the 6 round, and I get 2 and a half fingers on it, and it just doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of, just, it's a soft shooting gun, it really is. It's, uh, I don't know what they've done to make it that way. Compared to the other single stack nines, I would probably say it's the softest shooting. Even in the SIG 365, um, you know, the Glock 43X is a little better because it has a forward grip, but this is not really a comparison to that. It's more of a 43 comparison. But yeah, it's, it's a fantastic gun. I definitely, for 350 bucks or less, I saw them online for 330. You know, this thing probably drop even down in price a little bit. It's fantastic. The magazine release is great. Um, trigger's nice. Reset's good. So it's a that flat face trigger, which I like. No complaints. All right, guys, what's up? So that's uh, first 250, 250 rounds through the SIG. SIG. <laughs> nice one. The Mossberg. Not used to saying Mossberg for handguns. MC1SC. And I gotta tell you, I really, really like this little handgun. 
250 rounds, flawless, no malfunctions, not one so whatsoever. That was with, I'm um, sorry, I have like a cough drop in my mouth, I'm kind of sick. Um, that was with hollow point bullets, these Federal Simtech, the Federal HSTs, and a bunch of different types of um, ammo, just 9mm ball, you know, cheaper stuff that you buy at Walmart, you know, nothing fancy, and no malfunctions. Found the gun to be very accurate. I found uh, that it shoots pretty soft for its, for a single stack 9mm. That's weird. Let's get in some holster wear right there already. That seems pretty fast, so I wonder how this finish is going to hold up over time. Huh. You can see like that bluing towards the barrel because I shot it. I'll clean I haven't cleaned it. I mean, I shot it right out of the box. And Anywho, um, really soft shooting gun for a single stack 9. I think the most single, the most that I've ever shot, and I've shot quite a bit. Um, started with the Smith Weapon Shield. No, actually, the Ruger, the Keltec PF9, the Smith Weapon Shield, Springfield XDS, Glock 43, Sig 365, and this. And I got to tell you, <laughs> it's probably the softest shooting of them all. It just shoots really nice. It's it's not uncomfortable. You don't feel like, okay, after shooting it for a day, you're like, man, my hands are sore. Or, you know what I mean? You just want to shoot it to practice, and that's it. You, I mean, this is one of those guns you could shoot. You know, if I had a ton of magazines for it, which right now I don't have, I only have the two it came with, um, I would have shot it some more. So, very, very impressed. First 250 rounds, flawless. Nice break-in period. Um, <clears throat> just out of curiosity, let's pull this out. See how smooth I did it this time? <laughs> a little practice makes perfect. Just to give you an idea what the gun looks like. It's not a lot of rounds, 250, but... A little fouling wear there, which is normal. Barrel looks... Barrel looks fine. Nothing out of the ordinary. Recoil spring, I mean, what's going to be good? Nothing's going to be there, so... Yeah, looks looks normal to me, guys. So that's how easy the takedown is. Super fast. Don't have to pull the trigger, which is one of the nice things about it. Uh, so far, very very impressed with this pistol. Um, next thing I'm going to do is buy some Glock 43 mags and some extensions and some ETS mags and just kind of see what mags work best. The, the Mossberg mags were great. They're like 20, 20 25 bucks, um, even for the seven rounder. Um, of course, you can get ETS mags for even cheaper. Um, Glock mags are about the same cost, maybe a little bit less for a six-round mag. Um, I'm going to run some Terran Tactical extensions. And I'll just try out some different things, see how they work with this gun. So those stay tuned. We'll have a lot more videos coming on the Mossberg MC1. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.